I put big injectors in my truck, and now I've got high EGTs. Can you help me? I got high EGTs. Anyone help me? How do I get rid of these high EGTs? Please, uh, baby Jesus, help me. What do I do? You're going to need one of these. Yes, Kenny, but how do I connect that to my OBS board? Well, why don't you look in front of your nose there, dude? Hello, everyone. Kenny and Devin from OBS Solutions, and today we want to talk about... I hate it when he does that voice. I like that Leave voice. us a comment if you hate that voice. No, shut... Dude. No! No! We have fun, guys. All right, we take our we take certain things serious, but we have a good time, and we're gonna have a good time with this video. So, Kevin. here we go. Kenny says our last shot of this video, so I gotta be serious. Anyway, let's talk about our intercooler piping uh, for your ninety-four and a half to ninety-seven seven-three diesel power, power stroke, stroke. Power stroke. engine. So, yep. This is a kit that we just put on our website. It's Obsession Diesel's kit. It's by a buddy of ours, Dan Howard, up there in uh, big old Scathoose, Oregon. Big time in a small town. That's right, yeah. He, he's kind of a big deal in the 7.3 world. And Dan uh, actually built some pretty gnarly shit. Everything's stainless. It's all TIG welded, blah, blah, blah. It literally, this setup is a factory, or bolts to your stock 7.3 engine for you to intercool your truck. And... So yeah, so this this is three inch pipe, which is pretty industry standard, I think. Yep. Stainless. The uh, the intake spider, super cool. Comes with reducer clamps for your stock plenums, and like we said, this works with the stock turbo, stock pedestal, which is pretty kick ass for guys just looking to drop their EGTs. Maybe they added a tuner, some mild injectors, drop in turbo, something like that. And then this guy right here steps down on your intake side on the cold side of the turbo which is pretty rad so it's an all bolt in include you know package that with our intercooler bracket kit yes that intercooler that you saw it's like a like a friday night job with some beer and some maybe some yeah. whiskey or something yeah know? that icebox intercooler is pretty rad it's a it's a bar and uh plate like, yep handles cool. like some so serious uh go-go yeah like i think you said it was like 42 pounds yeah it's, it's awesome massive. anyway so let's just say though let's just say kenny hey my stock turbo and i we've had some differences been in, the kit's been in for a while. It's been in, I've had this for a while. It's intercool. I got low EGTs, but I just when I got the kids and the dog and dogs in the back were pulling the pass. I stock turbo and I we are not happy. Okay. We're we're like button heads. Okay, so I need a T4 setup. What do I got? Back in the day when I was young, I, I wanted to be a magician. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna try to, to abracadabra to, stuff. Yeah. So what I need you to do? Okay. Is turn around. Okay, I turn around. I want to see a T4. No kit. peeking. Okay. I am going to transfer. Or create. I'm waiting. I'm waiting all day, but I don't a know. T4 kit okay, for wait. the folks at home. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Am I good? Nope, nope, not yet. How about that? I got one of. Uh, oh yeah, I need one of these. And? Check that guy out. And you got on that kit. I bet Devin won't be able to reach it. Probably not. Am I good now? Almost. We're almost done. Where to put this? There's so much awesome here. What is that right there? Give it a look. Ta da! Wait a minute, that's my stock piping, or my stock pipe. That's the piping that I got with my intercooler kit. Yeah, it works. So yeah. the only thing I have to do to upgrade to a The only T4. thing you won't use is this guy right here. Pretty that's it. Pretty awesome, huh? That's it. I get a downpipe for your exhaust. I get, obviously, I'm reusing the intercooler piping. Yeah. I've got up pipes. Tell me about my up pipes, Kenny. These right here, V-band flanges, they are not welded to that pedestal. Now, why is, what's that about? Well, what's the matter? Serviceability, I think, is a big part about it. Okay. Uh, I think I think Dan really stands behind this kit. It sounds like it's been super reliable for people, but things happen. Now, competitors, some of their pedestals are welded, which that's Is that fine. even cast? That's like a piece of, uh, is that a piece of... It's like an iron... Piece of iron, iron. but that's cast stainless. Right. Casting it with a lifetime warranty on the pedestal. And the up pipes. Okay, so tell me about the up pipes again. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to side rod you on that, but the up pipes are actually removable, unlike competitors. Yeah, yeah. So so he claims, Dan claims, on the road, side of the road, let's say you got a got this kit on your truck, your tow rig, okay. race truck, pull truck, Ooh, whatever. Hell yeah, yeah, race truck. Cowboy truck. Any truck. Uh, he claims you can pop this this up pipe off the truck. In about 15 minutes with some basic hand tools and change it out if he had a bellows fail. Has he ever had a bellow fail? No. Of all the ones he sold, he's never had a bellow fail. No. Not even on his uh, his sled pull truck. But if it does, he'll next day or to you, wherever you're at. 
But the other guy's stuff, if you got an up-pipe failure, bellows failure, any sort of pedestal issue, you've got to pull that sucker off. You've got to pull your turbo out. Hopefully you're close to home or you're going to have to get a tow bill because it's going to be probably a week or more to get that sucker back, which I don't know about you, that kind of suck. That would suck. My wife would be probably never let me live down. Yeah, your wife would be unhappy on that one. Angry. So that's why I want to talk to you guys about this. That This is something we firmly believe in because uh, everything that we sell or we create or whatever it is on our website that we're behind uh, – we just we don't like half ass and when it came to a t4 dan contacted us and i've said this before in another video about the cowboy truck he's like this is the best t4 and i'm like yeah whatever but once you get your hands on you see the difference of this t4 versus competitors it's night and day difference and the piping kit as well if you're not ready for a t4 you just want to intercool your truck what other kit out there is upgradable there are none this is the only kit that is a total up you can upgrade it as you go along now you actually had some experience with this. We had... Oh, yeah, yeah. We they did a boo-boo. Nobody's perfect. We had a, a collector gasket fail. Because uh, we didn't realize that uh, it, we just mocked up the turbo when we had the engine on the stand. Never got tightened down all the way. How, how long do you think it took you to pull the turbo, the pedestal, up pipe stuff? Maybe a half an hour, if that. And then once that's all, it, was, it came off so easy. Everything's unboltable, and that's why... So... Like the other truck we have, we use it, right? We do off-road camping, and I'm always like, well, if I break down the side of the road, I've got the whole zoo with me. Kids, dogs, dirt bikes, you name it. And the last thing I want is if there is a problem, I want to be able to work on it or at least get two components that need to be worked on. And if this is in the way, how long does it take me to do it? Yeah. Let's and say I have an exhaust manifold gasket that blows out. It's making noise. How long does it take me to get the up pipe off? With competitors, you'd have to take the whole pedestal off and then remove that to gain access to the back of the, the, blo the block. So it's, it's kind of like that's why we fully endorse this product. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was kind of a silver lining opportunity, really. I mean, yeah, we could have just pulled the turbo, put a gas on it, went home. But I think you went the extra mile just right. so you could – so we could actually tell people here's how it was, you know, and it gave us a chance to clean up some of the soot and things like that under the hood. But, uh, but yeah, this is, this is the real deal. We, we've started with our own products because we know how we are with stuff. But – we're continuing to branch out and partner ourselves up with people who have the same mindset and the same uh, drive to create quality stuff. And this is this is one of those things we firmly believe 100% in everything we sell because it's the best of the best. And that's how it's always going to be with OBS Solutions. Thanks so much, everyone.